This is Julia Chambers presenting one-to-one -one computing in K-12 schools created in Library 287 Cybersecurity at San Jose U State University School of Information. Since the mid-90s, school districts and private K-12 educational institutions around the country have experimented with and adopted one-to-one -one computing programs. In these programs, students are equipped with a personal computing device to complete in-class or at-home assignments. School, schools adopted different models and different approaches, but in general, schools either require students to purchase a specific mobile technology or schools provide a device for every student and teacher. Some schools have adopted a bring-your-own-device approach in which students use their own personal devices at school, with the technology varying from laptops to smartphones. One thing these programs have in common is the fact that they are everywhere and popping up in growing numbers. The 2014 Digital Schools District Survey found that 83% of responding public school districts allow students to bring their own mobile devices to use in the classroom. 46% of districts provide their students with mobile devices for classroom purposes. The Pew Research Center's Internet and American Life Project Online found that 73% of surveyed middle school and high school teachers reported use of cell or smartphones in their classrooms, 43% confirmed the use of tablets, and 71% reported students' use of computer, school computers or laptop carts for classroom work. So clearly, mobile computing is here to stay. The impetus of these programs is based on research that indicates that one-to-one -one computing can transform learning, promote authentic high-level thinking, increase student engagement, and teach important 21st century skills. But they also come with a certain degree of risk. I'm going to discuss the risks a little more deeply. The literature identifies three main risks to students, safety, privacy, and risk to property. Student safety is a concern when schools lose control over how students use mobile technology outside of the classroom. Beyond the safety of a school's firewall, students are free to explore the internet at large. Mobile devices offer easy access to social media sites where students may become victims of cyberbullying or perpetrate it. Students' health and well-being are other safety concerns. Sleep disturbances and obesity has been linked to children who exceed the recommended screen time limits. There's also a concern regarding addiction to games and also potential safety concerns relating to geolocation features on mobile devices, which could reveal a student's location if the feature is not disabled. Student privacy is another concern. When students are required to conduct online research, they are establishing a digital footprint. And spyware, which is an increasing threat in mobile devices, risks student privacy as well. And if students are required to use cloud-based software, their work and sometimes personally identifiable information are in the hands of an external company. Google Apps for Education is cloud-based software used by thousands of school districts, and this company recently admitted to its practice of scanning millions of student emails, which could be in violation of the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, or FERPA, which was passed to protect students' PII and educational records, as well as Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, or COPA, which aims to limit the personally identifiable information a website can collect about children under the age of 13. One-to-one -one computing also poses risks to student, privacy, student property if students are asked to tote a device back and forth from school and home this increases the risk of loss or theft of the device and the data stored within. Student property is also at risk if a student opens an email or downloads software on an app containing destructive spyware or malware, which is an escalating security concern for mobile device security. Another property issue, which I'll discuss more in a minute, relates to the question of who owns a device used in one-to-one -one computing and who owns the data on the device. Moving on to threats to schools that, that schools risk in one-to-one -one computing programs, the literature reflects two primary concerns, network security and liability. 
schools with one-to-one -one computing programs increase risk an increased threat to network security, especially schools that have adopted the bring your own device model because IT administrators have to design the school's network infrastructure to accommodate a whole range of devices, operating systems, and software. Schools that require a uniform device may have more control over their network design, but they still may have little control over device maintenance. In other words, administrators can't force students to update their operating systems or software, which plays an important role in network security. And IT can't prevent a student from downloading apps or opening malicious emails containing malware or spyware that could spread to the network at the student's next login or spam the student's contacts through email or text messaging. Other risks include students sharing network passwords with friends or downloading malware-infected apps that could spread to the school's network. Relying on students to make the right choices and follow security protocol is perhaps the network's biggest security risk. Liability is the other big risk facing schools with one-to-one -one computing programs. Here the literature raises many questions. For instance, could a school be named an accomplice in an instance of cyberbullying if the perpetrator used a school-issued device to antagonize, even if the act occurred off school premises? Does a school need a warrant to confiscate a device that was used inappropriately or to do a routine check for unapproved apps? Could a school risk accusations of property damage or child endangerment if they perform a remote wipe or use geolocation features to track down a lost or stolen device? And finally, are schools held liable if a cloud-based software used in class mines the data of student work or email, which may be in violation of FERPA and COPA laws? So how to address these unknowns and move forward given the risks? The literature re recommends several important mitigation strategies for schools embarking upon one-to-one -one computi computing. Number one, design robust security and acceptable use policies that address network security design and device security, that stipulate the rights of the school and student expectations, that clarify the school's stance on cloud computing usage and student protection laws that spell out examples of misuse, such as cyberbullying or playing video games at school, and finally, that define the consequences. Number two, secure devices, and that includes strong policies for password protection, changing default settings to maximize privacy, requiring anti-malware protection, and enabling encryption. Number three, secure the network. Separate the network into different zones. Use authentication and encryption technologies. Employ, employ top-level security hardware and software, including firewalls, proxy servers, MAC address filtering, and anti-malware technologies. And finally, educate students about safety concerns and online risk-taking. Explain what network security means and why it's important teach how to create strong passwords and avoid malware. With these mitigation tactics, schools embarking upon or already immersed in one-to-one -one programs should be prepared to manage the affiliated student safety, privacy, and property risks in addition to the school's network and liability risks. Doing so, students will reap the benefits of 21st century learning and learn important lessons about information and digital stewardship in a safe, guided school environment. Moving forward, I would advise schools to stay on top of the literature and regularly assess policies and mitigation strategies to address current risks and those that will surely evolve right alongside new technologies. Thank you.